they live rent-free inside the world's most powerful machines. They are invisible, relentless, and they love to break everything you build. They are called bugs. Long before computers, Thomas Edison was wrestling with mysterious faults in his quadruplex telegraph. That is his system to send four messages on one wire. Every unexplained glitch he called a bug, and he built bug traps to isolate them and keep his signals clean. He wrote the following words in a letter to an associate in 1878. It has been just so in all my inventions. The first step is an intuition and comes with a burst. Then difficulties arise. This thing gives out and it is then that bugs, as such little faults and difficulties are called, show themselves and months of intense watching, study and labor are requisite before commercial success or failure is certainly reached. And this is the very first mention of the word bug we know today, unlike the popular opinion that it was due to Grace Hopper's moth. Fast forward to September 9, 1947, at Harvard faculty, where Grace Hopper, an American computer scientist, mathematician and US Navy rear admiral, who was also a pioneer of computer programming, was working on Harvard Mark II, which was an electromechanical computer, obviously for US Navy. The Mark II was constructed with high-speed electromagnetic relays instead of the electromechanical counters used in Mark I, making it much faster than its predecessor. One day, operators traced an error in the Mark II to a moth trapped in a relay. The moth was removed from the mechanism and taped in a logbook with the note, first actual case of bug being found. Reportedly, the operators were already familiar with the engineering term. Other probably a joke, this story indicates that the term was commonly used in the computer field at that time. The logbook, complete with the moth, is part of the collection of the Smithsonian National Museum of American History. From Edison's telegraph traps to Hopper's moth, bugs remind us that even our greatest inventions are fallible. Next time your code crashes, tip your hat to those early bug hunters and get ready to debug. Thanks for watching and staying until the end. This is my first attempt at making a mini documentary, so if you like it, please comment, like and subscribe. See you later.